Today is an interesting day. It's warm. It's mild. It's uh, started out at plus four. Now we're up to probably plus six or seven. I think the high may be plus eight or nine. We're far enough north that they haven't got the melt yet. Uh, definitely had the freezing rain, a little bit of crust of snow out there. But um, the nights get to maybe close to zero. I mean, last night didn't, but this past week it has. But they've done such a great job with the trails. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we're at uh, we're at Jaden's Junction, which is a new warm-up shelter or shack that we haven't seen before. So. New washroom, outdoor washroom, and the old one. Uh, very nice. That's you can definitely go in there and warm up a sandwich on the stove oh, yeah. and have a lunch if we you haven't had any cold days, but it would work for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What an incredible ride today. So the other thing I've done is I added ice scratchers yesterday and the first time trying them out today and they make a difference. Like you can see between two sleds what's happening in the rear suspension. I've got kind of full of snow and and the other sled doesn't. So, um, I mean, we're not overheating if you didn't have them, but I definitely am running anywhere, probably about 15 to 20 degrees Celsius cooler with the scratchers down. Uh, there was one trail that was a little bit looser and, and it cooled no problem, but the other ones have been pretty firm. Anyway, Pretty excited to be out riding on a warm day. Got the warm suit on. Let's see what Jaden's Junction looks like. Yeah. And it's definitely, yeah, look at that. Stove, some wood. Obviously, you don't need it running today. All pine boards, beams. They've got lights. So I don't know if it's solar powered or if they actually have electricity up here. There's a camera here somewhere too. Not sure where it is, but um, awesome job, guys. I mean, obviously you've you've got some good snow to work with compared to the other guys that work so hard too. You know, back home you've got the Lennox Nottington group and the Rita Ridge Runners, and they just they've done a great job. But this limited snow, and of course it's a little bit closer to the Lake Ontario, so it gets a little bit warmer and. A little bit more exposed so the sun gets at it. Yeah, I see a small solar pin on the side, so that must be what it is. Anyway, if you're wondering what the conditions are up here, um, maybe some rain tonight. I don't know how much. And then warm again tomorrow, but then it cools down. Problem is, there's no new snow coming. That's what really sucks. We just need a another good dumping on top of this and it would be it would be absolutely incredible but anyway we'll take it i haven't missed we haven't missed a weekend riding yet this winter have we What's that? we haven't missed a weekend riding yet this winter uh i don't know i really haven't kept track yeah i thought when we like we did we did the farm just shortly early january when we come back from quebec on the 20th did we ride the 27th Yeah, maybe I didn't ride that weekend, but I went out the evening, the Tuesday evening. Oh, okay. Which kind of replaced it. And then we went, yeah, and then we went back up, the, back up to Quebec the next weekend. And then we did a ride at the farm early on as well. So um, we've been, we've been going. I mean, we're not definitely doing two days a week, two days on the weekend or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But we're just happy to be out. Yeah, exactly. It's a thin winter all around. Yeah. Everybody. Shine that up. <laughs> it's great when the sled's a little wet and it just works perfectly. Yeah, we're dressed light today. Warm gloves and I've got my onesie on and yeah. I have a so we did two up last weekend. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not. We did two up last weekend. 
with the girls up in Quebec, Mount Laurier. And it'll just, it'll be the video before this one. And we're backing up to turn around at the Windigo Chutes. And of course, the snow flap gets tucked in and it pinched and it actually cracked it right in here. So I just, I mean, the snow flap still, the integrity still there. Hate to just toss it. So I got some aluminum, light aluminum plate and kind of did my own fabrication, put aluminum in behind and aluminum out front and riveted it in and I even give some black spray paint to it. And uh, lo and behold, there you go. So we're uh, no worse for wear. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm just tickled that they put up a nice warm up shelter and washroom out here. Now when we bring the girls up. So what the draw is up here, is Wheeler's Pancake House and incredible maple syrup farm. We drive the snowmobiles right through the maple forest. Anyway, that's our ride for today. Probably won't do any other recording just so I've had a ton of videos out lately and long ones so we'll keep this one short but just so you can see what's out here. It's pretty cool. Let's keep riding. Head, we'll head for lunch soon. Okay, so we're going to record a small video here, a small clip, over Grumpy's Bridge. Kind of a famous spot that's been here for years and years and years. We've got tons of pictures of us on the bridge. Nice little water stream flowing through. We have tons of Grumpy's Crossing. Nice little water down there. A little water that way. Snowmobilers only, don't break the bridge, SRSC, and Grumpy's Crossing. It might be our, <laughs> New Brunswick is known for the longest covered bridges, that might be our Ontario's shortest, actually it could be our longest too. <laughs> Alright, and out the other side. Okay, I got the camera on. You go first. Oh, you go first. I'll catch some of your dust in the camera shot. You know what I mean? Okay, <laughs> heading across the field. Let's give her a little shot. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Going 55. She, <laughs> she seems. Oh heavens. <laughs> she seems um a little out of control at 55 kilometers an hour. Anyway, <laughs> what's fun? Oh. <laughs> there must be beavers around here or something. <laughs> That must be a beaver creek coming from a beaver pond. <laughs> here we are. We were through here this morning and that was fine. And now there's a tree laying down. Uh, you know what they say, busy as a beaver. <laughs> yeah, they don't stop. <laughs> he, he must be close by. Well, we probably scared him away. Yeah. <laughs> That's too cute. Yeah, pretty funny. Well, I have a saw. And we might be able to just drag it this way too. Okay. <laughs> Too funny. Wow, look at the dirt collect sorry, look at the dirt collecting under there. Yeah. That's scratchers are working good, but oh my god. I think it's called snurt. Snurt? Yeah. A little bit of tug hill snurt up here. <sighs> I don't know if that's 
further away for him. <laughs> yeah, that, he's probably gonna. Damn, man! What did they do to the other side? That well, might just be enough. Uh. That's poplar, eh? Well, it's official. I did tree work every day this week. Now. Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your chipper? We'll clean it right up. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, that is. He's probably in the stream here going, fuck, I had it right there. I don't know where he went to. Huh. Hi. I don't know where he went to. Must have gone this way into the creek. Well, I'm sure he's in the stream, yeah. Yeah. He had it all lined up right there, we just took it away from him. <laughs> Good old middle of February, spring conditions. It's not even the middle. Yeah. Okay, onward we go. Disaster diverted. Okay, we're on our way back to the truck. There's usually deer in here. I don't see any. I'll let Brad go by. I don't see them there. There's all kinds of tracks. Anyway, that's pretty funny. Alright, look at that. Oh my god, a short story for you this morning. We, uh, coming coming in here there was maybe some freezing rain last night or just enough rain that the snow on the road was icing up and the sander hadn't been down here yet so we turn onto this side road just kind of goes out here and it's a hill right away so and of course traction controls on in the truck and of course we get stuck what three quarters of the way up the hill maybe uh, you can't get a run maybe two-thirds of the way yeah and you can't get a run at it because it's a t at the bottom of the hill so here we are stuck trying to grab some gravel on the shoulder but the traction control wouldn't let us wouldn't give me the momentum to keep going so here we are stopped so we actually unloaded the sleds on the road the side of the, on the road and drove them up over the top of the hill and kind of loosened up some of the ice in front of the wheel tracks and away we went crawled up the hill i guess the sander showed up right just as we we're doing that too we got up the hill, though. but we got up the hill yeah and then the sander showed up so it's still perfect timing yep all good yep that was a good call because last thing you want to do is back back down and jackknife that baby yeah. that wouldn't be good it ruin your day in a hurry yeah. and bad luck follows me around so that'd be something i'd end up doing well, we were just lucky that the shoulder was bare and it held the truck in place yep, yep. okay another another ride done <laughs> 